Hi everyone and welcome back to The Rooftop, the home of good news worth shouting about, where we share positive stories about issues that matter and campaigns that make a difference. I'm Tom York and this is episode 9 of Rooftop TV. Now, for our first story, I'm joined by editor of The Rooftop, Simon Francis. Hi Simon. Hi Tom. Yeah, so for the first story this week, um, we're going back to a charity that we covered a couple of weeks ago on Rooftop TV actually, uh, the Missing People charity, and, and they work to help um, the families of the 186,000 children and adults who go missing every year in the UK. And they try to obviously uh, reunite um, uh, the kind of the families with the, the people who've, got, who've gone missing. So they work both with the families and they also work with some of the, the people who've gone missing themselves. And, and what they've seen since the, the COVID-19 um, situation developed is a 54% increase in the number of young people who are missing who've been trying to use their live chat and online um, facilities. So perhaps some of the the, the issues that we've seen in the past with um, technology being given to vulnerable groups, which we've covered before on Rooftop TV, is starting to come through and people have actually got access to technology and can actually now contact um, organisations such as Missing People, which is which is good to hear. Um, but obviously they're a you know, small charity and they need funds like like all the other charities at the moment. So they've, uh, they've launched a new fundraising um, campaign, which basically uses um, the, the technology that, that we're using, uh, Zoom or Google Hangouts, um, to raise awareness of the fact that there are so many people um, still missing from their families and loved ones at the moment. Um, and that, um, you know, this is a great way to sort of raise awareness of, of that issue and um, to encourage people to get in touch with the charity if they are um, someone who is, is missing from their families. Uh, and obviously um, to encourage the public to donate. So a great cause and a, and a lovely story. Thanks, Simon. Important work by missing people there. And now for our next story, they say that with ambition, perseverance and courage of conviction, almost anyone can make a positive difference in the world. And a young man called Arjun Sharma is living proof of this idea. Although still only a high school student in Honolulu, Hawaii, 16-year-old Arjun has a passion for the environment and he is already helping tackle the global issue of plastic pollution with a new smartphone app that he has developed all on his own. Now, I'm pleased to welcome to the rooftop Arjun Sharma, creator of the smartphone app Clean My Beach. Hi Arjun, thanks for joining us. Hi Tom, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. What inspired you to create your app? So there were a couple of things that you know inspired me to create Clean My Beach. One was just to fight against plastic pollution, you know, help contribute to that fight. Obviously, plastic pollution is a very serious issue that harms the environment. It endangers all organisms uh, and it occurs on a global scale. So yeah, Clean My Beach was just my way of trying to fight against that issue. And then there is also a, a second issue that I wanted to try and solve. There's a disconnect between ocean conservation organizations that exists uh, in that these nonprofit organizations, they post their events on Facebook, you know, Eventbrite, Google Calendar, their own websites, etc. And this makes it harder for regular individuals to find beach cleanups in their area. So, you know, making a platform that makes the whole process of finding and organizing cleanup events easier by having them all be in one location uh, was the second motivating factor in making the app. In England, where, where I am based, plastic pollution on beaches is a significant issue and we do have beach cleanups that happen. How bad is the, the problem of uh, plastic pollution where you live in, in Hawaii? In Honolulu, where I live, um, there's this canal called the Alawai Canal, which is notorious for being very polluted and very dirty. And then there's also a beach on the big island called Camilo Beach, which is literally dubbed the plastic beach just because of the extraordinary amount of trash that's there. It sounds pretty horrific, with the, the, what you've described there. So um, I, I can see why you would have been inspired to, to do something yeah. to change it. And it's very um, admirable. How does Clean My Beach work as, as an app itself? Um, so I intentionally designed the app to be as simple to use as possible uh, so that both organizations and individuals could easily use it to find or host their own events. 
Essentially, the user or organization just creates an account on the app, uh, and then they can either create their own cleanup event or find and sign up for another person or organization's event. So it you know gives the individuals the tools that they need to host their own cleanups in their communities as well. Is it available worldwide? Yeah, absolutely. Anybody around the world can use it. What would be your ideal uh, hope for the application? Definitely to have as many people use it as possible. You know, like the more people using it, the better. Uh, the more people share it and spread it around with, to their families and their communities, the more awareness will be raised, and then the more beach cleanups will happen. And, you know. What do you think needs to change in the world to put an end to plastic pollution? Definitely awareness. People and governments around the world really just need to become more aware of the effects of plastic pollution in order for it to truly stop. It's really just a matter of everybody realizing that their actions have consequences. You know, Dumping trash in the ocean or littering doesn't just make it disappear. You know, Even though you may not see it, still harms other organisms that it encounters or it harms the environment. So Arjun, how can people download the app? So Clean My Beach is currently available on the Google Play Store. You can find it by just opening the store and searching Clean My Beach. Uh, and I'm also working on bringing it to iOS as soon as possible. So hopefully it'll be available on Apple devices soon as well. Well, thanks, Arjun, for joining us. We wish you all the best with Clean My Beach, and we look forward to following your success. Yeah, thank you so much. I'm happy to have been here. Now, for our final story, Simon is here with news about the importance of keeping fit. Yeah, so this this final story is um, an organisation called Moby Game. Now, they already existed prior to the coronavirus outbreak and the lockdown, uh, and they were uh, basically working with um, people in care homes to um, play adapted versions of sports with residents of care homes. Now, it, this completely uh, blew our minds when we saw this story, the idea that actually you could still get people who are in care homes to play rugby, football, tennis, even dodgeball, apparently. Um, and it's just such a lovely concept that, you know, people should still be active when they're um, when they're older. Absolutely. And and this has been, a you know, kind of a great organisation to report on, uh, regardless of the times that we're in. But obviously, um, their activities have been curtailed slightly. They can't go and do the hands on activities that, um, you know, you would normally um, see when you're, you're playing sport. So they've had to adapt and they've gone online. So now um, every day at 11 o'clock they're on Facebook live um, play helping um, kind of uh, people in care homes to stay uh, fit and healthy and I think they've seen kind of not just uh, residents of care homes join in but some of their families as well so actually it's a great way of, of being able to see your relatives take part in something do something all together at the same time so uh, a really lovely story from this Cardiff based firm um, Moby Game. Thanks, Simon. Lovely work there by Moby Game. Well, that's all we've got time for this week. You can find out more about today's stories and all the other positive news this week on our website, therooftop.news, and on Facebook and Instagram at News from the Rooftop, and of course on Twitter at News from Rooftop. And as always, if you've got a story that you want to shout from the rooftop about, email it to us at editor at the rooftop dot news. I'm Tom York and this is The Rooftop, the home of good news worth shouting about. Thanks for watching, stay safe and we'll see you next time.